Tomorrow marks two years since record rainfall caused devastating flooding in University City. I was on the ground that day covering the flooding for 12 hours and I met so many people who were displaced by the rising waters. Now we were all touched by Elisa Simmel, who you just saw and her family forced to leave their home in the dark barefoot and in pajamas. Two years later, I caught up with her at the same place. Her life changed forever. It doesn't feel like two years have passed. Um, it feels like it was just yesterday. We first met Elisa Simrel, July 26, 2022. I mean, the water came in so fast that it was it was no time to grab anything. The historic rainfall forced Elisa and her sons out of her new home, leaving her soaked in the dark floodwaters. I was way deep in it. Coming just out of the out of the, door out there. of the front door. Now the emotion comes in waves. Prize possessions gone in a matter of minutes and the memories of her family she can never get back. So the photos, ah, that is my biggest thing. Yeah. Um, the photos were on the floor also. So um, that everything else can be replaced, but um, the photos could not. Elisa has multiple sclerosis. After seeing our reporting, the Multiple Sclerosis Society extended a helping hand to turn the tide. They allowed us to stay at the hotel for no charge. Dr. Robert Chris quite literally wrote the book, or the report rather, on the flash flooding two years ago. He also helped get flood markers like this one placed across the city. Just last year, Dr. Chris helped create a new early warning emergency system, Code Red. We give people about a half hour warning. That's all you get. While this is a start to help save lives, Dr. Chris says without land buyouts and better building strategies, the risk of repeat will remain. When we have homes and cars parked and businesses in the wrong place, it'll be very serious trouble. I mean, guys, it was just something to catch up with Elisa. She did mention that she got so much help from the community in University City. There was a GoFundMe, raised over $11,000 for their family. The Multiple Sclerosis Society reached out to the newsroom to get in touch with them, help pay for their hotel costs. But it was at least 11 months before they got yeah. into a permanent living situation after this. Well, and nonetheless, you know, that's a lot of money, but yeah. it might not get you to where you need to be. It didn't, yeah. And some things are priceless. Yeah, you know, pictures. pictures. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That was heartbreaking. Oh, that it's tough. Yeah, they're doing much better now, though. Good. Yeah, Good. yeah. Well, I'm surprised. You know, a couple of weeks ago, we didn't have more images like that because we had so much rain, just mm -hmm. like we had two years ago, almost to the day. Right. Kind of strange, a little eerie. Yeah. Uh, but we don't have anything like that in our future. So our weather impact forecast is 